As flames came down the canyon, the Dixie Fire was headed away from town. But then it switched directions and destroyed most of Greenville, including the town's only firehouse. This was a two-story structure. But not before members of the local fire department jumped into action to save as much as they could. One other volunteer that we had, I mentioned like he put all his most prized possessions into his truck and when he responded to the fire, he parked at the fire hall and uh, all his pictures and the stuff that he's trying to save because their mandatory evacuation got burned up next to the station. Once a non-stop shop, the firehouse also served as a town hall, wedding venue, and community center. We lost everything. I mean, that was our main fire station, another base. We lost an engine over there. Uh, and so uh, you folks right away, right off the bat, uh, loaned us an engine, which we're hoping to keep. With the help of Cal OES, the fire department is getting a new temporary location providing a glimmer of normalcy as recovery begins. This is the first structure that's gone up since the town's burned down. You know, yeah, really quick and fast, amazing. A build that happened so quickly, they haven't had time to put up a new firehouse sign yet. Look forward to putting that up and let people know the fire department's back. With the help of state agencies, local government, and private companies, this new firehouse is only temporary, for now. So now we have a very safe ingress and egress. Big bays are able to open up the doors instead of squeezing into them and uh, we're at a great location and this is where we're going to build our new permanent station here too. A station that will bring a sense of security back to this community. I sure hope so. It has for us as volunteers and uh, firefighters we're able to help protect our community. To follow the journey of recovery in Greenville visit our website news.caloes.ca.gov. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Alicia De La Garza.